All right, what's up everybody? Afflicted Gamer here and welcome back to X Defiant. So first up, I would like to thank Ubisoft for this gift as I've partnered up with them to provide this content for all of you. I thought I would go ahead and take a look at the Battle Pass, give it a quick review to help you guys who are maybe on the fence and help decide whether you would like to pick it up or not. So let's go ahead and check everything out. So at tier one, well, you get if you do buy the premium pass, you get three instant rewards. And the first one here is an anarchy skin for Gia. So we'll quickly look at this. I think that that's actually not too bad of a skin. Then we have a skin for the ACR which I actually really do like this one here. I like black and red, so definitely a fan of that. And then the last free thing is a 40 minute XP battle pass booster, which I always welcome. At tier one, we have the eruption skin for the M4A1, which give you a quick preview. I wish it covered the, the barrel as well, just the whole thing, have it red and black, but other than that, uh, it's pretty cool. After that, we have a skin for Ark. Actually, I think I put this on him, to be honest, just to have a little change of pace. Uh, it's okay, you know. Uh, I actually like some of the, the stuff how how it is, you know. I'm a big fan of black. <laughs> uh, like the color, you know, that black and blue, black and red. I just think it goes together well. Weapon XP booster for 40 minutes after that. Then we've got the Cobalt skin for the M249, which is just uh, a nice plain matte blue color. Then we have these little, uh, like, I'm not sure what to call them, you know, kill cams or whatever. But here, let's check this out. So player of the game, if you are the player of the game, you can have this pop up around you, which, you know, it's a cool, nice little effect, little extra thing. Uh, preview respawn overlay. Now, is this for me or the person that gets killed? I would like to know that. I'm going to make sure I equip this. Because I would like to see how people kill me. We need a kill cam in this game because some deaths don't make sense. We've got 100x coins, which is awesome to get your coins back. We've got an anarchy skin for Estella. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that properly. I apology. I, my apologies if I'm not. Uh, but again, black and red. So, you know, thumbs up for me. The hair, a little bit funky with the blue and purple there, but not bad. Then we have cold steel for the D50. You can see that on screen. Nothing much to preview. Coins. Uh, a weapon. <laughs> so we've got the urban MDR. I kind of thought you would get weapons through leveling up, but I guess there's going to be one on each pass, possibly. I don't know. Okay, after that, we've got Alpha Ruby skin here for Sebastian. As he's for dead sec. I like that one. Uh, superhero landing. I don't do emotes in pvp games really so uh that doesn't mean a whole lot to me weapon xp booster for 20 minutes is great uh same thing with these you know when you get a kill or someone kills you you could do these little emotes I mean, it's a funny little little gesture thing i guess but again it's something i don't bother with personally we have a skin for the mp5 uh i i don't mind it don't love it don't hate it basically but, you know, if you like purple and black, then there you go. X coins again. Then we have a shamrock skin for the Mark 20 SSR. Just a plain green skin there. Nothing too special. I notice a lot of these rewards are common. Not sure why. Uh, 20 minute booster for Battle Pass again. Then we have a dungaree skin for Chia. That's not bad. Another emote up top. We've got an epic skin for the uh, P90. I think I, I meant MP5 earlier if I said P90. My apologies. But here we go. 
kind of like a if you ever played Destiny, it's like calluses <laughs> kind of colors. Still pretty nice. I saw a skin for this weapon. I forget where. I think it was in a bundle and it just looked unreal. It might be in one of those founders packs. X coins again. Then we've got high velocity. Uh, yeah. That's these colors aren't for me. Sorry to say. Avalanche for the M9. It's kind of like a desert camel kind of thing. Blue and black. That's okay. It's not bad. Uh, weapon XP booster. I welcome that because they take forever to level up. Then we've got a dungaree skin here for uh, Zai Yang. Hopefully I'm not butchering that. I really like the jacket here with the hoodie. Not a fan of the <laughs> the roll-ups at the bottom there and the skinny pants, skinny jeans. Yeah, Sean, if you're watching this, <laughs> hope you get a laugh out of that. He always wears skinny jeans. I make fun of him. No hate to anybody who wears them. Just a little inside joke. Okay, then we've got more uh, emojis for DeadSec. And we have another common skin, Amber, for the 93R. X-Coins, common skin for the ACR. I mean, that Anarchy one is way better than that, in my opinion. And then Lux, the player card thing for the respawn or the overlay. I think the cleaner one is nicer. Okay, we've got a rare skin for the Vector. I do like this. Definitely would use it. Speaking of the Vector, go to the Ubisoft club store if you haven't if you have any points there's some stuff for x defiant there there's also a free skin for echelon and for the vector so i recommend you pick them up weapon xp booster definitely welcome that then we have a common beto skin for a libertad uh, not my style but to each their own throwback x coins and then, okay, now this is my style. This, I love this. This is cool. I, I, I'm definitely going to grind to unlock this thing. It's just too bad that we can't see them. You know, the, the first person shooters, you can't, you can't see how cool that looks. I wish I could. All right, after that, Battle Pass XP booster, 40 minutes. Uh, we've got a common skin for the Vector. It's kind of a, a ruby, ruby-ish color. And we have Reboot. I believe that's going to be for DeadSec. Again, one of those, those things for the respawn or if you're a player of the game and that's your faction. More emojis. <laughs> I mean, they're funny, but I just, you know. Uh, even this I like right here. Again, for the cleaners. The other one's way better, but I like this. I wish it was on one of the other cleaners since this guy has a really really cool skin then we have a weapon xp booster we've got a skin for the m44 uh nothing too too special but again it's it's common so what do you expect right m16 i like this just like the vector same color palettes but i think it's very clean looks good I would use that for sure. X coins, gunfighter emote. Then we have a DeRosa skin at tier 39. Um, not for me, maybe for you. Another, okay, we got game over. Another skin for this guy. I wish we had skins for some of the other characters. Uh, yeah, definitely not my style. Okay, this is, though, this is a, wow. Okay, and it's even on the MDR. Let's go. Uh, this I love. Okay. And got up to tier 50, so. Uh, from what I counted, you get 700 X coins. The pass is 1,000, so you almost get all of it back. Um, 
And another way to look at it in terms of buying it is if you go to the store, if you wanted, say, a skin here, like this one, or the one, I actually picked this up because I adore the look of this thing. Like It, it looks like a completely different gun, and I couldn't resist. So that is the cost of the, of the pass. And if I was to purchase the cleaner skins, the MDR skin, the vector stuff, uh, and the M16 one, you know, like I'd, I'd be spending the cost of the pass anyway. So for me, I, I would pick it up despite the items that I don't care for, just for the ones that I do, because it would cost me probably more if I had to buy them in the shop. You know, now it is a free to play game, so of course they have to make their money up somehow. Um, so I, I understand. I, you know, M249 skin here. I like that, but, you know, 800? Uh, I don't like it that much. Available for 21 more hours. This said a day. So I did. I made sure I got that in time because I like that sell. But you get my point, right? So, like this Founders Pack here, all of these. Uh, I think that's where I saw the skin. It was in one of these things here uh, for the P90. But, anyways, okay, so for the Battle Pass, there you have a look at everything pretty much in depth so you can make up your own mind if i had to rate this out of 10 i'd probably give it a five there's so many common items and outfits that aren't for me emojis that aren't for me but if you like them do not let my opinion sway you you know people should just enjoy what they enjoy and that's that i'm here just to show you and give you my thoughts like i said despite the items that i didn't like i actually still would have pick this up myself you know even for items like this which i think are pretty cool um definitely the cleaner ones and so on so now i don't want to drag the video any longer than i have to um mdr is also on the pass which is something that i would want for sure um it's free so i guess i te technically wouldn't have to which i like that so any of the weapons are going to be free that's how it should be so Good job on that, for sure, Axe Defiant. But yeah, there you have it, guys. So let me know what you think of the pass down in the comment section. Let me know if you picked it up or not. The Founders Pack, if you picked any of those up or not. And uh, if you didn't, what's your reasons why? I'm just genuinely curious. But other than that, kindly drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it or found it helpful. Consider subscribing for more Axe Defiant content, the Division 2 and Vigor content. Vigor's on PC. I've got a video that works for that. Lastly, you can follow me over on Twitter. Uh, aka x at afflicted gamer i'll leave a link for that down in the description and i'll see you soon in the next video once again huge thank you to ubisoft for this i greatly appreciate it